So this is Monk Road, leads from Bancroft. Um, basically, it's going to take you to the uh, TV, TV antenna site where the rock cut is and you find the blue appetite. Not much stop when you're going down into the lake if you're not paying attention or if you happen to be videoing while you're driving. Guys, I guess you'd probably be real mad at me if I didn't show you some rocks uh, on my winter tour up here. Just having some lunch here. Um, quinoa, rice, some lovely meatballs. Anyway, the spot I'm at here, something you can easily do. We've got um, blue appetite here, very thin spines of blue appetite. Um, I found a really beautiful, small, um, glassy corundum crystal some years ago, like, like a sort of dove gray color. Anyway, it's right here, just above, um, just on the hill above Cardiff. Wow, there's just a whole bunch here. I'm looking up here, we got some um, molybdenum up here. We got some little tiny um, uranite crystals, little cubic uranite crystals down there. Blue appetite. Um, some decent looking calcite there, some orange calcite. Uh, quite a range of, of possibilities for, for, you know, some basic mineral specimens. So I got some really uh, strange little reddish crystals that are, are actually within the calcite. They're actually prisms, so I can see the top ends of them. And as I started chipping them out, I realized they were actually prisms, reddish prisms. I thought initially they might be um, fluorite, but it appears not to be the case because I don't really think of fluorite coming as a prism. So, I mean, this road cutting is a perfect example of where you go from where the heat has been delivered to the rock. Um, so right away, obviously, uh, there's there's seams of where the calcite is squeezed up, and if I really looked around enough, I probably would find some more significant heat source, some kind of maybe like a granitic intrusion or something like that, that's you know worked with uh, you know like the calcite coming up. You go from that area to an area where the local rock, which was probably some form of limestone, has been pressured and heated, and it's gone into marble. And then you go to a rougher area where it's still, you could still call it marble, but it's more limestoney, right? Far less uh, affected by the heat. And then on the top, the top layer, which is where we are finding our really good crystals, our blue appetite and what have you, the top layer over there, directly above the calcite or right next to the calcite, uh, the, the calcite layer, the top layer is where the blue appetite is appearing. Other side of the road, over there was where I showed you the uranite crystals and um, also the um, molybdenum night. Um, I just wanted to show you, and I know this is not syncing up with yesterday, which was cloudy and dull, and today I'm here again, so it's not going to entirely sync with what you might imagine the timeline is, but I do want to just point something out before, before you actually watch the rest of where I'm going with this. Directly behind me, there's a slope. Uh, where is it? It's right there. So that's where you want to go up in this road cutting. You can see where you are, right? Here we are above Cardiff. There's my car behind me. Um, that's the slope you want to go up to get to this particular spot that I'm about to show you here. Or maybe I've shown you already. I'm not sure where I'm sinking this in with. My... I knew there's a reason I was hanging around a little longer. So I noticed on the top of the hill here, there's kind of a bit of a, you know, like a digging up top and I'm thinking well why would people spend so long digging up here let's have a look and what do I find right over here I don't know if, I guess I can't get much closer but it's basically blue appetite um, and underneath I can see it's totally free crystal so I'm going to try and knock this out I can see all sorts of crystals here which basically says to me this loose rock up top it has some large potential um, I'm going to take out what I can for now. I can see other crystals around the edge of it, so they're loose crystals. That's what I like. And uh, see what I can find for you. So here's my trick. I'm clearing off all the rocks around this particular rock that has the blue appetite along the front of it and the crystals. And I'm pretty well sure there's got to be more here. But I'm clearing the rock away, and then I'm going to just hammer it on the top, and hopefully it drops off. Let's see what happens. Guys, there's little vugs of blue appetite all over here. It's basically in the area about maybe uh, two feet beneath the surface, not too far down because it gets really solid. It's up in this sort of porous layer. I can see a bunch underneath here, 
they're kind of badly worn. I can see some real nice ones down there. And of course, there's my area down here that I'm, I'm trying to extract. You guys, this is really freaky. I've taken out my um, big slab that had the blue appetite on it. And behind it, I find a vug with fine, fine hair-like appetites almost, blue appetite. And then behind that, there's a bunch of loose crystals of, of blue appetite as well. So I'm going to dig in with my fingers very carefully and see what I can find in terms of appetite crystals that are blue. And look, here's your pocket right here. I'm finding small loose crystals in the bottom. And then obviously the top of the pocket is packed solid from above with these blue appetite crystals. The idea will be to try and extract what's above and haul it out whole. So guys, the extraction did not go as well as I'd expected. I do have a few nice individual pieces like uh, you know prisms of blue appetites and you know sizable enough um, but the good news for you guys is this entire layer that I'm sitting up against at about this height to that height I don't know if you can there to there is just porous and pocked with cavities uh, you turn up it's it's just pure rock hounding right I had always discounted this particular spot I'll show it to you here here it is, right by the TV tower, up above the road from Cardiff, in the uh, in the Bancroft area. I'd always discounted it, figured, oh, all it is is chipping at hard calcite, trying to, you know, extract some battered specimens. Not at all. This is the spot to be at this height, in this exact pocket that I'm sitting, in this exact sort of depression. No doubt it runs for some distance behind me. Uh, well worth your time coming, and uh, if you're looking for a small blue appetite, and who knows what size you can find, just keep going. There's pockets all over. I'm just not going to bother messing with them, right? I'm cold and tired at this point, but well worth Guys, it. I'm pretty happy. I found a real nice little doubly terminated blue appetite. I'd say this one tends more towards the grayish blue. Um, and again, it was in this sort of digging area, which is absolutely that layer there. Let me show you. That layer right there the pockets are above, beneath, and within that layer. And how far back it goes, I do not know, but I can personally see there's a there's a pocket there, there's one just underneath there. As I've been going back, I've been exploiting a pocket. Um, fantastic rock hound potential. Uh, definitely something worth doing. You're, you're just basically digging in. Don't waste your time with the calcite down there. It's hard as can be. All you get out is shards and broken stuff up here you're actually getting beautifully formed crystals. So good luck, enjoy. I know it's snow. Hopefully the warm weather's coming soon. They claim it's 12 tomorrow. Doesn't feel like it now, my legs so, are So Wes, an answer to your question. Here's where you leave your two bucks. I think they got a little thing on their porch. You drop your two dollars in and then you can go to the silver crater mine, which is back that away. It's about a half hour to 40 minute walk. Um, Definitely a place well worth going. Um, uh, Beta Fights is what it's well known for. Uh, but there are some wonderful glassy appetites as well uh, within the actual adit um, and other minerals, less quantities.